Here's my trailer. It is a, a little over five foot wide and uh, almost ten foot long. Uh, perfect for my lawnmower, my bad boy. Perfect for my uh, golf cart. Uh, even though I have to back it in. Problem is, sometimes I need something a little bit longer. Okay. Here's the other trailer, which may be gone by the time this video is up. Um, 16 foot trailer. Decided I didn't want it. <laughs> All right, after doing work on it. So, what I want to do here is use this drop gate as a bed extension. I'll drop this down and show you what I'm talking about. So, what I'm thinking is is put a cross member from here to here that will fold up into this and basically just extend the bed out longer so if I need to haul uh, you know 16 foot lumber now I can before if I wanted to haul 16 foot lumber I could bring it out to the tongue but I would have to take the gate off and as you see I've got one of those uh, old man gate springs on this thing so I can lift it with one hand so what we're going to do is again run a cross brace from here to there and uh, I'm going to put some reflector material around this side here when it's laid down. Word of warning here. This isn't meant to carry a lot of weight. So in other words, I'm not going to put my uh, golf cart and four-wheeler on this thing and try to extend it. That's not what it's for. This is for most of the weight is going to be on the trailer. And there's going to be another three and a half, four feet hanging on this. So most of it will be that way. So we'll get started on it. Be right back. Okay, I laid a couple two by fours on here to uh, simulate if I had 16 foot lumber or something longer hanging off um, to get this gate somewhat level. It doesn't have to be level. Matter of fact, I would rather it kind of lean up a little bit just to keep things from sliding out. So we're going to drill holes uh, and kind of mock it up and then see how it looks. Be back in a sec.
trailer ramp gate extension done. Uh, total time, probably maybe hour, hour and a half. Um, most of that time was paint drying, spray paint drying, because it's in the 20s here in uh, lovely Northeast Texas. Hate every second of that. But uh, keep in mind, this gate is not meant to carry weight, okay? All your weight needs to go on your trailer, preferably over your axles. That's where you carry your weight. This is meant just to extend the bed. So if I'm carrying, you know, 10, 12, 2 by 10 by 16s, that's what this is for. If uh, I've had a utility car and the wheels and everything are on this and the bed is hanging over this, this is fine. But don't put any, I wouldn't put any weight on this. So if you do build this, it's really simple again. All you're going to need is a couple of uh, four foot sections of inch and a half flat stock. I think it's eighth inch. And uh, some bolts, a drill, drill bit. And I put a couple of tractor pins in here to make the uh, attachment quicker. That's all you need. You can have you an extended trailer. But this is not meant to carry weight. It also moves the weight to the back and makes the trailer you know, move up and down. So um, with that said, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more projects coming, more music coming, and if you like the uh, like what you see here, please like, please subscribe, please share it with your friends. Uh, and any questions you have, or any comments, or uh, I'll, I'll take con constructive or critical criticism in the comment section. Let me have it. So that's it for me, gang. See ya.